Ilya Sutskever, arguably one of the brightest minds in AI that has ever come from OpenAI, recently announced he is starting a new company. On June 19th, 2024, he took to X to repost a full statement from his new company, SSI Inc. SSI Inc. stands for Safe Superintelligence Incorporated. And with this company, Ilya has started the world's first straight shot SSI lab with one goal and one core product, building a safe superintelligence. Will Ilya achieve superintelligence? What's on the horizon with his new company? We're gonna explore that in today's video. If you're new around here, welcome. If you've watched my videos before, welcome back. I'm Julie McCoy. I used to run a human writing agency. I sold that right before ChatGPT came on the horizon and I pivoted fully to AI. Now I work full time in artificial intelligence and I take to YouTube to dispel the myths and break down what's really happening. Welcome to the AI rabbit hole. The statement that came from Ilya's new company, SSI Inc., says that superintelligence is within reach. This initial statement doesn't claim anything more than that, except to establish the overall mission, direction, and bragging rights of Ilya's company. There's no indication they've cracked the code on what superintelligence is, but there is a clear direction that Ilya has formed his own company and his own pretty amazing team to go down this rabbit hole. And it's definitely a 180 from OpenAI, which Ilya left on May 14th. OpenAI has claimed to put 20% of their compute to dedicating the problem of alignment and making sure Sure that they are a part of building a safe AI for humanity. OpenAI too believes that superintelligence is on the horizon and they've even put a date on it saying it's four years away. That's 2027. Interestingly enough, Ilya puts no date on his claim that superintelligence is near. He simply says superintelligence is within reach. What's interesting to see is how this whole company is literally created to develop artificial superintelligence ASI to to be as safe as possible, and that ASI itself aligns with human values. Eliezer Yudkowsky, a known doomer, replied back to Ilya's tweet and said, if you have an alignment plan I can't shoot down in 120 seconds, let's hear it. So far, you have not said anything different from the previous pack of disaster monkeys. Now, Eliezer is a doomer, but I don't think he's entirely wrong because there is no claim that Ilya has uncovered anything. Their first company statement, published from SSI, really does nothing to say that superintelligence is even here. It just establishes a plan of action for Ilya and his team to go pursue building it. Ilya is joined by two co-founders in this venture, Dan Daniel Gross and Daniel Levy. Daniel Gross is the co-founder of Q&A Search Engine, which was acquired by Apple in 2013. Daniel Levy comes straight from OpenAI, where he's previously worked. He was a significant contributor to large AI models. He also worked with Google Brain and Facebook on AI projects. So these two co-founders are nothing to sneeze at. And Ilya claims he wants to put together a team of the world's best engineers. Ilya himself is a big Big reason. We have GBT 3 and 4. He co-founded OpenAI and played a pivotal role in its development. When he earned his PhD in machine learning from the University of Toronto, he studied directly under Jeffrey Hinton, a leading world expert in neural networks. Ilya was also a foundational part of the Google Brain team, and he's authored some of the most influential papers on neural networks and deep learning. When he left OpenAI, which seemed rather abrupt back in May of this year. After being on the super alignment team a little less than a year, he was nothing but positive in his post on X. In fact, he called OpenAI a miraculous company and he said, I'm confident that OpenAI will build safe AGI under the leadership of people like Sam Altman, Greg Brockman, and Mira Mirati. But even Elon Musk took to X to post and say, what did Ilya really see? Why did he leave OpenAI? Back when Ilya was in the trenches at OpenAI, doing some fundamental work on the GPT models we have today, he said this from the stage about what would happen to humanity if we managed to solve alignment. You do have your super intelligences in the world and they are all, we've managed to solve alignment, we managed to solve, no one wants to use them in very destructive ways. We managed to create a life of unbelievable abundance, which really, like, not just not just material abundance, but health, longevity, yeah. like, 
all the things we don't even try dreaming about because they're so obviously impossible. So if we solve alignment, Ilya says we get to create a life of unbelievable abundance beyond just material abundance, where we can have health, longevity, and capabilities we don't even dream about because they seem so out of reach. We are looking at an infinite abundance. Ilya's point of view and visionary anticipation of what our technological future could bring is one of the reasons I started listening to him over a year ago. He is a bright mind and he sees what the future can be if we manage to automate 100% of the jobs humans never wanted to do that came from a system trained in us by the era of the industrial revolution. But with what AGI and ASI can bring us, we can literally live in an entirely new age, the best age humanity has ever seen. Out of over a billion workers today, more than 70% are unhappy at work. We can solve this problem if we put AI, automation, and robotics in the seat of doing all the jobs we never wanted to do anyway. This is the future Ilya sees, but only if we manage to build a safe, artificial super intelligence. It's really interesting to see Ilya's announcement. It's interesting to see how SSI Incorporated will shape up and the people he brings in on this vision. That said, I don't think he's uncovered super intelligence. I think we are absolutely still in a race for a visionary to build a true working version of what AGI could and should be. An artificial general level of intelligence capable enough to understand the context of the world as we know it. And from there, do autonomous work in every industry that mimics or rivals a human. And that is a race Ilya has definitely not won yet. What are your thoughts on Ilya creating this new venture? Let me know in the comments. I enjoy engaging with you there. I've got some pretty brilliant people that watch this YouTube channel, and I really enjoy hearing your thoughts on my videos. So I'll see you in the comments. And as always, I'll also see you down the next rabbit hole.